So what we're gonna do now is gonna be pretty cool and I think you guys are gonna really like it. Welcome back to another episode of Rustle Mod. We're back on the 1961 Rambler Station Wagon. So if you guys haven't been following along, we're trying to go on Hot Rod Power Tour this year. We built this thing many years ago and we kind of cut some corners when we first built the car. So we decided to go through the whole car and make sure this thing's dialed in for Hot Rod Power Tour. So we have a lot of stuff that we knocked out on the last episode. You saw that we had some really cool valve covers that we machined for this thing. We have our fuel system pretty much completed in the back. So we got a lot of stuff knocked out, but now we got to move on to the front of the car and try to get that stuff figured out. So one thing I've been really wanting to do is clean up the engine bay. Before, if you guys saw it, it didn't really look very good. Wires were just basically everywhere and we really want to tidy that thing up. But one thing that I thought would be really cool is if we painted the engine. So we actually had all the chrome stuff on the outside of the engine and it made it look really good, but I just didn't really think it fit the characteristics of the Rambler. So we actually are going to paint the engine bay and the firewall. So you saw that we ended up pulling the engine out and we ended up pressure washing the entire thing. So that way it's nice and clean. So when we go to paint it, it all the paint will stick really good. There's no oil or anything on the motor. And same thing with the firewall. So we ended up welding up some patches on the last episode. So now we're gonna to try to finish the firewall up so we can get this thing ready for paint. So let's get to it. We kind of got everything cleaned up and stripped. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to try to paint the firewall of the Rambler. So we do wanna go with the same color that we have on the firewall already. This is actually the original color of the Rambler. As you can see the roof is the exact same color as the firewall. But this whole thing is actually just spray canned on here and it doesn't really hold up the best. So we actually found an actual car paint that we're gonna paint the firewall just so I can finish up all the patching that I did and kind of hide it. One of the problems that I had with this is it's such a light color. You can see all the dirt and stuff after you drive this thing on the paint. So what I decided to do was go to our friends at Sweet Patina and get some of this N1 textured coating. I got it in black and it's really good for like bed liners and stuff, but what I'm gonna use it for is actually right up the side of the firewall. So that way, whenever you're driving, all the stuff that's flinging off the wheels and stuff, you can't really see it with the texture coating. It's not as visible and it kind of completes the look after you've been driving this thing for a little bit. It just looks really bad with the green. So we're going with the black N1 texture coating and I'll show you guys how we're gonna put that on, but we're going ahead and coating all this stuff on each side in front of the wheels. And then in the middle, it'll be that green color. For now, we're gonna go ahead, clean up the firewall and get this thing ready for paint. We're finally going to start painting the engine today. So I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. It's gonna look pretty cool. All right, so you saw we got the motor all cleaned up. So this thing is looking pretty good. We got everything masked off and it was nice that we could be able to pressure wash this thing and try to clean it up as best we can before we paint it. So we got all the holes plugged, it's all masked off, trying to match the colors that they used back in the day of the rest of the car. So it's gotta be cohesive. I think with all the chrome, it didn't really fit the Rambler build. So what we're gonna do now is gonna be pretty cool. And I think you guys are gonna really like it. All right, so Angel's getting ready to spray the primer, which is that yellow color. We're gonna do the primer and then we're gonna do the top coat and that'll be the color that the engine's gonna be.
so we got the motor primed so we're gonna let this thing dry and then we got to go over with the coat that we're actually gonna paint it so this yellow is just a primer this paint's actually a military spec so it should be pretty heat resistant and pretty tough so that's kind of why we wanted to paint it and it's actually a military color which is pretty funny so I'll show you guys what that's gonna be whenever we go to spray the final coat. All right, so now that we got the engine painted, we actually painted a bunch of little engine parts that are gonna go on the engine. So we got the thing all yellow, and now we can go ahead and spray our top coat, which is gonna be our final color. Now it's time to show you guys what color we're gonna paint this thing. And we got our primer drying on a bunch of other engine parts and stuff. Now, we're going to go ahead and spray this thing down with the color and you guys can see what it's going to look like. We finally got the motor painted and it looks pretty good. So this is the color that we're going with. So the entire engine is going to be this green color that matches the roof color of the Rambler. So this is actually a very similar color to the firewall that we painted. So tomorrow we're gonna begin painting the firewall and everything like that to get the motor ready to go inside the car. But overall, the paint job looks really good. I've never really painted a full engine like professionally, but this thing turned out really nice. So we went ahead and painted the transmission also, and it looks really good. This paint is pretty heavy duty. It's a military paint, so it's used in a lot of military vehicles and stuff. And we're gonna put it to the test with all the heads and stuff. It should be rated for high temp and everything like that. So I'm pretty sure that this thing will last quite a while. Start painting the firewall the same color as the motor, but we have some things in the works that are gonna kind of tie in and separate all the green that we have in there. But we're not gonna be able to get to that before power tour. So it's gonna look a little weird on power tour with the entire green engine bay. But once we get everything put back together, when we come back, where it's gonna tie it in really nicely and it's gonna be pretty cool. But all the ICT build accessories and stuff are all powder coated black and we're gonna have our intake is gonna be the same green color. We'll have our fuel rails anodized black. So it'll look really nice. It'll break up all the green that's gonna be inside the engine bay. Also went ahead and painted our hood latches, the water pump, the starter, and some other brackets and stuff that we're gonna need that are gonna go on the engine. So that way this thing will be completely green on the engine bay and then we'll have all the valve covers that we're making and everything to kind of really complete the look of the motor. The next day. All right guys, so we got the Rambler pushed in here and we got the firewall prepped and ready to go for paint. And like I said before, we're doing our Sweet Patina N1 textured coating on the sides where the fenders would go over top. We're actually going to mask this whole thing off and then tape this entire section and then we're gonna spray that texture coating over the whole side. And then from where this line is, basically where the hood would go, all the way over that's going to be green if you guys are looking for a discount code i have one linked below for the sweet patina stuff i use their stuff on literally everything they don't have just patina stuff they have all this texture coating they have clear coat they have a ton of stuff so definitely go check them out we use them on absolutely everything so let's get to masking this thing up and getting it ready to spray paint on it Right, guys we got the first coat of the firewall paint on there it looks really good this thing is really coming along I'm pretty happy with the color of this it actually matches the original color almost perfectly so we got everything painted and then we're gonna let this stuff dry and we can go ahead and do the black
Got our motor painted as you saw, and we got our firewall painted as you saw. So we got the Sweet Patina N1 undercoating on the sides, and then we got our firewall painted with the same paint that we painted the engine. So we're gonna try to stick this thing in here without scratching it. That's kind of why we have all this foam wrapped around it, but it should be ready to go back in finally. So we're gonna load this thing up, get it in there, and then see what it finally looks like with our painted firewall and engine. We got the motor in there. You can see it's finally all green. So now we're gonna lift it up, pull the transmission, make sure that that's all bolted in there, and then we can assess how everything sits in there, which it should be pretty much the same. I do have some added knock sensors in different spots and stuff, so I just wanna make sure all that clears. guys so that is what the motor looks like in the car so I kind of tried to throw on that brackets the accessory brackets so you could kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like it's not gonna be all green but it is gonna have some contrast with the black with the fuel rails and with our accessories and then we still have to put on our valve covers which are gonna be green and then we're gonna inlay it with some red so I think it'll look really good once we get this whole thing together it already looks much much better than what we had before so that's kind of the goal with this thing tidy all this stuff up that we didn't have time to do before and make it look really cool and I think we're knocking it out of the park just by painting the engine painting the firewall doing all the little stuff to make this thing look really really nice so really happy with the way it's turning out now I have a bunch of stuff to do with mounting the exhaust mounting all the rest of the brackets that we have on the front of the engine and just putting everything back together really. I do have to mount my fuel pressure regulator and then I can work on all the fuel system on the engine, but try to make that stuff look really good, clean it up some, and then we can go ahead and get everything tied up with the rest of the car. All right guys, I think the engine bay turned out really, really awesome. I'm really happy with the way this thing came out. I think it really complements the Rambler and it's gonna turn out really awesome, but we still got a lot of work to do to get this thing on the road for Power Tour. So make sure you follow along, like, comment, subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the episodes we have here on Rustamod. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook. I'll put all the links down below. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.